everyone, it's Jane once again and welcome back to another perfume video. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we are going to talk about some new fragrance releases for 2022. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. If you enjoyed fragrance-related content, please head on down below. Click on the red subscribe button. Make sure it turns a gray color. Make sure to click on the bell icon as well to be notified whenever a new video is uploaded in the channel. It is time to catch up on some new fragrance releases for 2022. I may be a little late to sample some of these fragrances as I've been on a low buy since the start of the year. Mainly because I have too many fragrances to go through plus I have been wanting to keep the size of my collection to absolute loves only so I haven't really been buying or blind buying much. I also mostly get samples or decans or travel sprays or discovery sets and I've been buying smaller bottles unless the fragrance I like do not come in smaller sizes. And also I had waited on the recent Sephora VIB sale to save some cash because this hobby can really get out of control in terms of the spending. I'm really trying to keep to my budget as much as possible. Timestamps are by the way written in the description box so you can jump right to the part or parts that are relevant to you. Going back to new fragrances, I have four new fragrance releases to feature this week. I will have dedicated videos for each one and it is a series of short review videos so you are at a liberty to pick out which fragrances interest you. Leave out the ones that do not. All of these are designer releases and flankers to existing popular fragrances. In this video, I am going to let you know all about this flanker to very popular Valentino Born in Roma Eau de Parfum, Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. Catch the other three videos in the series if you're interested to know my thoughts on Dolce Lili, John Paul Gaultier's La Belle Fleur Terrible, and the new Si Passione Eclat. Links in the description down below. I do not personally own Born in Roma but I have been holding on to a sample and I've been going back and forth whether to get a bottle or not. But this new one sounds promising so I picked up this travel spray to try. I will stop blabbering now and get right to the fragrance. Showing you a 10ml travel spray of Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. This comes in Eau de Parfum concentration and this is officially called a Go Spray. This perfume comes in 30, 50, and 100ml bottles. I will insert a photo of the full bottle. I do think that this little 10ml Go Spray is also noteworthy. This coral spiky part is made out of rubber and not only is this decorative but it protects the spray gloss bottle inside. This go spray is, by the way, refillable. You can refill this later on with a different perfume if you do not plan to get Coral Fantasy. I love that this little thing isn't disposable. Thank you, Valentino, for thinking of Mother Earth. This is a floral fruity fragrance for women created by two perfumers with very difficult to pronounce names so I will write them down instead. Top notes are kiwi and Brazilian orange. Middle notes are rose, jasmine, and ambrette. Base notes are white, mask, and cedar. The first time I ever sprayed this perfume, my 6-year-old's reaction was, ooh, it smells good. Like the OG born in Roma, this is a very mass-appealing perfume. People of all ages will likely appreciate this perfume. This opens fruity, fresh, and floral. I like that they did not use lemons in this one. And there's more kiwi than orange to my nose. There's a little bit of tartness but nothing too much. In terms of florals, I get more rose than jasmine but the jasmine definitely balances out the rose. This is sweet but in a fruity sweet kind of way. This goes into a shampoo direction as well but doesn't fall flat as this dry down. This dry down a floral musk, a lot more powdery and fluffy as well as the longer this stays on skin. Smelling this side by side with the original Donna Born in Roma, here, I do not think they smell alike at all. This is sweet but subtle and fresh. Definitely great for every day especially during the warmer months. This is something you can reach for easily to smell fresh in the summer heat. This was also frequently compared to Le Imperatrice by Dolce & Gabbana but I tell you nothing here is aquatic or ozonic and this doesn't smell of watermelons at all. They're both fresh fruity perfumes but go in different directions. This does not have that thirst quenching quality typical of um, aquatic watery fresh fragrances and having said that I don't think 
think this is okay for the high heat. Fairly forgiving summer days, yes. Hotter than usual tropical days, this will be a little too much unless you plan to stay indoors in aircon environment. This has a fairly strong projection, especially in the first 30 minutes of spray, after which this is closer and closer to skin. Lasting power in tropical climate is about 2-3 to three hours over sprayed. I was a bit disappointed considering this is an eau de parfum and considering the amazing lasting power of Donna born in Roma on me. This truly is a disappointment longevity-wise. On the Sephora website, the 30ml goes for 80 US dollars, 108 for the 50ml, and 138 for the 100ml bottle. This 10ml goes for 32 US dollars. Overall, I think that is a reasonable price to pay for this pretty bottle and for the chance to sample the fragrance well prior to deciding on a bottle. At the time of filming, this perfume is actually sold out at the Sephora US website. That probably tells us something. From local, tropical weather perspective, this is perfect for casual, everyday wear. Not for very hot days, but this is definitely a warm weather, warm season fragrance. This is an easy reach for me, smells more interesting than say Dolce Lily which is also featured in this series. Even as this dry down. Occasions I'd wear this for casual, everyday, could be worn to the office on warm days but I find this to smell more relaxed and youthful instead of office appropriate. Is this safe to blind buy? Most definitely. If you're a fresh, fruity, floral fan that goes into clean, shampoo direction, those kinds of fragrances, then this is for you. I still highly encourage you to sample this on skin and wear test this perfume for your peace of mind. Having said that, and given the mass appeal of this perfume, this will make for a great gift, teenage girls and up. Full bottle worthy again, if you're a fan of this genre of fragrance, this is something worthwhile getting a bottle of, especially if you're a fan of kiwi in fragrances. Biggest con is the longevity in warm weather. But if you are to begin with a fan of Born in Roma, this can be your spring-summer warmer weather tropical vacation fragrance. Overall, I am rating this perfume a 6 over 10. Not blown away, but compared to other fruity florals, this is fairly easy to like. Still fairly average smelling to my nose. Its lack of uniqueness or complexity is probably comparable to some popular body mists and more affordable fruity florals such that this isn't a must own. I personally am not getting a bottle at this point but will cherish this go spray for now. Even the more popular OG born in Roma, I can't seem to make my mind up whether to get a bottle or not. Valentino fragrances have yet to really wow me, I guess. So how many of you guys are fans of Donna Born in Roma line? I heard that the OG Born in Roma is the most popular fragrance in TikTok at some point. You know, it is successful because flankers like this come out yearly. I hope my review has been useful to anyone out there looking to own this bottle. And let me know down in the comments if you were impressed by this perfume, are you looking to sample or buy a bottle yourself? And with that, I thank you all for joining me today. Don't forget to catch the other videos in the series featuring other new designer fragrance releases of 2022. And don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and click on the bell icon to be notified of future uploads in the channel. Take care you all, smell your absolute best, and see you in the next video. Bye!